Hey, it's Airsoft Mike and I'm here today to do yet another unboxing. Uh, technically it's not a box, I know. <laughs> it's some sort of courier packaging. Um, it's from Gunfire and it's an Airsoft company in Poland. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you the little bits and pieces that I ordered from them. Okay, so this looks like my, yeah, sort of like a, a body armor vest. Very nice. What else have we got here? Okay, there's another envelope inside. Now in here, because obviously airsofting is my hobby, so I do sometimes like to order some accessories and things that I think I might need in the future. Okay, so first of all, what's this? Ah, very nice. Nice little uh, airsoft parts and accessories catalog. It's good to see that this Polish airsoft company takes into consideration that they do have a lot of English speaking customers or fans of their website. So, I mean, this could have easily have been in Polish, but it's not, it's in full English. So that's nice, I'll have a look at that later. Right, this body armor vest is intent on falling over, so I'll just <laughs> lay it down. Um, okay, so that's nice. What else have we got? Ah, this has come good. I thought I'd buy myself a nice little tactical suppressor or silencer. Um, I'll show you that properly in a second. I can't even remember what I ordered. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, okay, it's a nice little magpul. Makes it easier to take mags out of um, weapons. And I have a few connection leads, adapter thingies, whatever you want to call it. For example, you've got a Tamiya plug there and a Tamiya, no, a Dean's plug on the other end. And there's just like different variations of that. Which is good, because sometimes you can buy um, airsoft weapons and the batteries that you have may not fit the, uh, the leads that are built into the gun. So these will come in pretty handy. Right, so let's have a look at this. Very nice, exactly what I wanted. Very nice looking tactical suppressor. It's one of those sort of like a quick release one. So um, it should also come with an adapter. Ah, I get it. The adapter's in it, so that's good. It comes with like a flash hider here. So what you do is you put this onto your um, existing gun. So you take off the flash hider that's on your gun already, put this on, and that enables you to connect this suppressor very quickly by pulling this down or pushing it up to secure it on the gun. Now, you only need this if the flash hider on your gun is not compatible with this suppressor. You may find that a lot of flash hiders that you've already got on your weapons will work perfectly with this. I love the attention to detail on this. Even got a serial number on there. Um, made by Knight's Armament. Very nice, I like it. So I'm thinking of putting this on my Scar L. So I'll do that now and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's grab hold of the Scar L. Now, looking at this, straight away I can see the flash hider in terms of the little grooves here seem to be quite similar. So I might get away with not having to take this flash hider off. So let's have a look. Just spin this around so it's easier for you all to see. Right, so first thing I'll do is I'll just release that there. Oh, 
perfect. There was no need to change the flash either. Nice, basic and simple. There's even a plate in here as well. It's obviously, um, let's have a look actually. Let me not second guess. Yeah, it opens up. Some kind of um, tough, foamy type material in there. Most definitely that will protect you from any rogue BBs that may be shot at you. <laughs> yeah, got a nice, Velcro strap on the front, so it will basically fit any size. Um, you've got a nice Velcro patch on the front, which is very handy. Um, so if you're a fan of different patches, or if you want to swap out the actual uh, standard flag that it comes with, so it does come with the American flag, you can actually take it off if you wish. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave that on there and I'll put a UK flag on there as well and put some other patches also. Very nice. I do believe it's also adjustable on the shoulder, yep. It's adjustable here by means of a buckle and Velcro. Nice little uh, extended section here, which will give you a degree of protection to the back of your neck. And yeah, I'm telling you, it's very cost effective, very cheap. I'm not gonna give you a price because the price could always change. And also I didn't have to pay for this. This was sent to me uh, without me having to spend any money. So here we also have this very tactical piece here for your magazine. So if I get that open. And do remember all the things I'm showing you here, a lot of you probably know about already. But this is really for the benefit of some of you new airsofters out there, right there. When I first started airsofting, I thought, I've seen these, I saw these before and I thought, I don't need one of those. Until I started customizing one of my airsoft weapons and I realized that the magazine at the bottom of my airsoft weapon, the more I customize my weapon, the less of the magazine I had to grab hold of to take it out. This solves that problem. I'll show it to you now. If I just go and grab a mag like this, you simply just get it in. I mean, it, it, it may be a tight fit, right? It's just, but it will, trust me, it will go on just like that.